Hey guys, I'm Liam and that's Caden. And behind me over there is uh, the affectionately termed Mo that's driven us um, halfway across Namibia. It's a Nissan double cab and it's been awesome. And I wanted to make this video to show you what, it's, what, it, what it has and um, sort of how everything's packaged together and to give you an idea if you're interested in, in renting a car like this, we rented it from Drive South Africa. Okay, so first off, chairs comes with two camping chairs as you can see and then over here are all the cooking utensils and things you need to make dinner and breakfast and whatnot so you got pots pans cups wine glasses containers for leftover food gas canister kettle axe which is very important and a chopping board and all the plates and everything you need then moving on to over here these are things which the car didn't come with but we thought were very important so we wanted to sort of show you um, so medical stuff is always important you know first aid kits antibiotics that kind of thing uh, little sort of small lights are really great to have um, a couple extra sharp knives head torch invaluable um, if you like keeping a knife sharp or keeping your axe sharp it's always nice to have a, a sort of a knife knife sharpener which you can get in an outdoor store uh, gaffer tape, a lot of water, wet wipes, toilet paper, always have extra of those, bry tongs and a bry grid from another art from outdoor store as well is nice to have, it doesn't come with the car. And uh, gin, not for, for to get you drunk but rather to keep the mosquitoes away. Then we found it was really useful to keep everything in these boxes. So we got some boxes from a, from a, from a sort of uh, general dealer and we keep wood in one, uh, veggies in the other. As you can see, the trip's been, we've been going for two weeks now, so we're a bit running a bit low. <clears throat> and then sort of like dry goods uh, in the last one. Right, over to where everything is stored. So the, the back canopy area opens up quite nicely. These lock, but I've, I've kept them unlocked. So you flick them down, pull them up, and that exposes the back area. This is the main sort of way of getting into the back. As you can see, it's quite spacious. We managed to fit all of this stuff and all of that and all our bedding pretty easily. So it is nice and spacious. This drawer over here, which is really nice and long, is where all of the cooking gear goes. Now this is the, the ultimate to have when you're camping. Um, it's in a lovely angle fridge and freezer, which has been great. Uh, you got to sort of get to know how to use it nicely and not run it too much so the battery dies but um, over time you sort of work out the best way of keeping things cold. Uh, we like to keep a nice big sack of wine in here, lots of meat, lots of ice, lots of uh, bottles that you sort of take from here to your cooler box and um, the drawer also slides out. And then behind here, you've got some recovery gear, some cleaning stuff, uh, hose pipe, which links up to your, to your water tank, which is at the back there. And um, the water comes out over here. Um, something we, we haven't needed yet, but uh, what you do have is your, your bush toilets, your spade, which you can take out quite easily. Um, the car comes with um, two spare tires, one over, mounted at the back over here and another which is mounted below. I'm not sure if you can see, there we go. And you get that out by unscrewing it from there. Okay, moving on to the cabin area. So the set of keys that you get looks something like this. The smaller keys are all for opening up the back area and this is the main key um, within, a, within a mobilizer or central locking system. So inside the hard body is really nice. Um, it's basic, but it's great. It's got everything you need. Um, so it's got um, sort of your regular AC, radio, CD player, um, nice cubby hole where you can keep sort of your maps and everything you need, which are really important. Uh, storage space over here for money or for cell phones. Um, then something which we bought, which is really useful, which I recommend, is an inverter. Um, it's, you plug it into your cigarette lighter over here and it enables you to have power for a laptop charger or for a cell phone or something like that, which is really cool. Okay, um, 
So here you've got on the right, you've got your dual battery system monitor. So this one is for the main, as you can see, it's a little bit low because we've been running the fridge for a while. And then this is your secondary battery, which is sort of drawing from here. So one always needs to keep track of these two to make sure that the main doesn't die. You turn the car on in order to, uh, to run the main battery more. And if you leave it running for about half an hour, it's generally fine. In terms of driving, um, the hard body's great. I think it's a sort of 2.6 odd litre diesel, um, pretty, pretty economical in fuel for a big car. Um, it comes in four by two, it comes in four by two, two by four, high range, low range. Um, you change between high range and low range and four by four over here. And this is your main gear stick. Um, when you when you pick up the car, they they run you through how to do all the gearing and all that kind of stuff. And it really is is handy to learn how to do that properly. Um, we have been stuck in the sand before, and uh, we've needed to use a compressor, which um, which I've got in the back, which allows you to deflate and inflate the tires and as well as going into lower range to try and muscle your way out of um, a tricky situation. What I found really nice about this car is the fact that it's a double cab and even though there's two of us, it's nice to have the extra seats in the back. So whenever we, we need, we can sort of put stuff in the back here, um, allowing us, sort of saving us time from going right to the back and getting things out the, the rear of the car. Cool, okay, so next up is to well, let's, let's take a step back and just have a look around the car so you can get an idea of how it looks. Isn't she beautiful? We named her Mo after the guy who did the handover. His name was Mohammed. So now over to probably the most important part for a lot of people, and that's the, the tent. So it comes with uh, two towels, nice tent area with pillows, sleeping bags, blankets, uh, the light we bought ourselves, as you saw earlier, and we just sort of left that hanging up there, which is nice. Um, the tent's spacious. It does get cold during winter, but um, you can't really expect to keep warm all the time. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I hope that um, this video was helpful for you if you're considering renting a car like this. Um, before I drove this Nissan, I wasn't uh, sort of overly keen on Nissans. I was always more of a Toyota guy. Um, but after driving this hard body, I, I definitely won't look back. And I'm really glad that we, that we hired it. Cheers.